How are we doing everyone? Sam here at United People's TV, here with my match reaction after Man United's 4-1 win over Newcastle. The first time since September the 30th that Manchester United have scored four goals in a Premier League game. And it's absolutely no coincidence that happened on Paul Pogba's return to the team. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is back, Paul Pogba is back, Man United scoring four. Today was a momentum building game. And it almost started, I say it almost started, it definitely started. The first 30 minutes were pretty poor for Manchester United. 1-0 down, a decent finish by Gale after a slip by Victor Lindelof gave him the opportunity. And we were not at the races. International breaks always seem to kill United's momentum. We had no momentum going into it and our defence looked so unorganised for those first 30 minutes. But we turned it around before half-time. Pogba, a wonderful clip into Anthony Martial. That was the creativity we had been missing for so long. And then Chris Smalling made it 2-1 before half-time. Man United turning that 1-0 deficit into a 2-1 lead going into the half-time break. And we, I came out in the second half and you, you knew that Man United needed to get that third goal. Because when Newcastle was sitting deep, they had two banks of four with Joslu and Gale up front. We couldn't, they looked like a very def good defensive unit. It took two decent crosses and two headers to break that down. But Paul Pogba got the third with a wonderful goal. Lukaku crossed it, Rashford, a wonderful nod back across, and Pogba made no mistake. Let's talk about Paul Pogba before we go any further. It both scares me and excites me how reliant... I, I don't think it excites me at all, in fact, thinking about it, but Man United with Pogba in the team are a completely different beast to how Man United are without Pogba in the team. He is so dominant in his position. He is so in control of the midfield. He's so arrogant with his touches that he just brings United up a level. Paul Pogba really is on a different level. And today we saw that absolutely. Jose Mourinho right to take him off, off to a standing ovation after a goal and an assist on his first game back since September. He made all the difference today. We've had so many games where United have had a lot of control of the ball, but no creativity linking the midfield to attack. That's exactly what Paul Popper did today in absolutely abundant levels. And it was just brilliant to see him back. Now, it does worry me that we are that reliant on one player. Given how many other signings we have made, it seems that when you drop Popper in, things work, things click. When you take Popper out and Mkhitaryan drops form because of that, Man United look poor. But today we looked so at the races. It was 4-1, but it could have been a lot more than 4-1. That's my take on it. But Lukaku got back on the score sheet today. Again, absolutely no coincidence. That has happened when Paul Pop has been back in the team. And he's, obviously, Pop wasn't on the pitch when Lukaku scored, but he brings the arrogance and the confidence back to the team. And Lukaku looked a lot better because of it. He could have had a couple of chances, could have had a couple of goals in that first half when he did have a couple of chances. But we just, we were creating chances left, right and centre. Anthony Martial starting today, scoring from the start and he looked electric. I'm loving this Anthony Martial this season. I'm, Rashford in the first half, he wasn't his best, but seeing Martial, Lukaku and Rashford playing the same starting eleven with Pogba and Matic and Mata in that team, that is a very exciting United attacking team. We didn't see it for the first 30 minutes, which did concern me. But once we clicked into gear, once the team came together, we really started firing at all cylinders. And Newcastle could not cope with us. That's what you want to see from Man United. We've now scored four goals against Crystal Palace. Uh, we scored it against West Ham, Swansea, CSK in Moscow, Bournemouth and Newcastle. Might have missed one in there in between as well. But... Manchester United rampant today, and it could have easily been more than four. My man of the match, it's easy. Paul Pogba, outstanding man of the match on his first game back. That was what you want to see from a Manchester United midfielder. He took the game by the scruff of its neck and controlled it. Love to have you back, Paul Pogba. Ibrahimovic back in the team as well, playing in his new number 10 role. I genuinely think that Ibrahimovic is going to thrive in that role this season. He dropped deep so often last year. But now if we have Ibrahimovic playing in that role, we'll have Lukaku up front. And Ibrahimovic will create from deep. With Pogba and Matic behind him, pfft, amazing, amazing options. And we didn't even have Ander Herrera starting today. We didn't have plenty of other players starting today. United looked very, 
very good. That's exactly what you want to see going into this crazy fixture period in December. And we play Arsenal away and Manchester City at home. If we can play like that today, we can compete against both teams. Who is your man of the match? What's your thoughts on today's game? Let me know in the comments below. Sorry it's not a live reaction. I haven't got the good internet today, so I can't do it. But hope you enjoyed my comments on the match. If you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.